Target Target practice. practice. Welcome to Shot City, baby! Hey guys, Shot City here with the review of the 6 Hour P365. This gun is brand new. I just got it. Um, as you know from my video before, I did do a review on this gun at my local range. I rented the gun there, had a chance to fire 50 rounds through it, and gave you some of my initial impressions of the firearm. Now that I have one in my possession, I'm going to be able to compare it to other firearms, take it out to an outdoor range, and really do some more shooting with it. But before we do that, let's open up the box and do a little unboxing for you guys. Hey guys, Shot City here. I've got my Sig Sauer P365 that I just got, so let's take a look at it. It comes in this nice Sig Sauer case. It's got the Sig Sauer emblem on top of it. When you open it up, you have your typical like eggshell padding. You've got your pistol, your magazine with the extension on it. So you'll see that you can get your pinky fully on the grip of the gun with that in there. Then you have your chamber flag, which I've already removed from the firearm. You've got your six hour manual. You've got some additional six hour product information. Then you have the six hour sticker. I know a lot of people like to collect these stickers. So let's get the box out of the way. Oh, and just one more thing that comes in the box is your trigger lock. Safety first, folks. All right. So now for the firearm, get this out of the bag. We'll remove this little um, safety notice. Check it, make sure it's empty. It's empty. This is the 10 round flush magazine. And then, like I was saying earlier, that is a little bit tight still, but I'm able to get my pinky on the grip with the extension on there. That's not really a big deal for me. I prefer not having pinky extensions on the gun. My hands are like medium to small, so I'm able to kind of rest my pinky on there if I need to, but I don't mind it resting at the bottom of there. Okay, now let's move into some of the features of the gun. One of the things I really like about this firearm, just off the bat, is the ergonomics of it. Feels really good, really similar to the PM9. Has kind of a narrow grip to it, but doesn't feel too top heavy, so that's nice. Um, it does have some nice grip texturing on it. Um, very similar to like something that you might find on like the um, granular tiling grips that kind of feel like sandpaper, but not quite as rough. So it feels really good. Doesn't feel like it would, um, you know, rub against your skin too hard if you were carrying an appendix or something. Then it's got some nice front serrations up front, which I'm happy with because they actually are deep enough to get a good grip on. Also, you've got your controls, which again, I said that this slide release was kind of tight, and it is, but I can, uh, I can pretty much see this loosening up after I've got some rounds through the gun. Then you've got your magazine release, which is really positive. Those magazines just come flying out, so that's nice. You've also got night sights on this firearm, the six hour x-ray night sights. So you've got those in the rear and up front, you've got a tritium dot with a green circle around it, which kind of aids in uh, quick target acquisition. Um, another thing about this gun that some people were upset about was the rail that they put on here. They didn't leave an opening for the rail. So if you're going to buy any lasers or lights for this firearm, you're going to have to get them from Six Hour because this is like a Six Hour custom rail. 
I'm sure there'll be aftermarket stuff later on, but for right now, I've only seen stuff from six hour. All right, so let's see how this trigger pull is. And cameraman, if you could zoom in to on this trigger pull. See, you've got some take up. You hit a wall, a little more take up, then you got a break. And the thing about this trigger, the brake isn't that crisp, but it is nice and um, very predictable. The only thing is that the trigger does feel kind of springy, kind of similar to like how some of the older SIGs felt. But um, overall, I like this firearm. As far as the ergonomics and everything, I can't wait to get out and shoot it. See if I got one of the six power P365s with issues or not. And um, from there, we'll go into breaking down the gun, lubing it up, and just showing you what I do before I uh, take a firearm out to the range. <laughs>